I think people just like making things. They like that connection. They like conceiving it, watching the process, and then having an actual instrument. Brian and I have both been interested in uh, silversmithing for many, many years. Um, part of the historical reference point of smithing is utensils, objects for the table. And given the interest in food culture in general, it seems like a nice meeting point for people who like to make things, people who like to eat. Maybe they would like to make a spoon that they could eat with. There's various ways that you can approach it. You can create like a giant lump or ingot of the metal and then like hammer it down into whatever utensil you like, spoons, forks, knives, or you can fabricate them, starting off with sheets or wire or any various other ways the metal comes. You can manipulate it and shape it into something that you enjoy using. It's a very long process. There's filing, sawing, hammering, and heat, hammer, heat, hammer, back and forth. And it does take time, and that's part of what makes it so unique and so special. I think when people make their own work, what they're interested in is the, the small little details that they feel uh, the mass-produced pieces are missing. The way that each piece can be individually sculpted to fit your hand, it allows them to, to kind of express themselves but then solve the problems that they they might find. Oftentimes people, you say a spoon, you say a fork, people have an image in their head readily available of what that should look like and what typically does look like, but I think people can be surprised by what it is that they would rather see made if they had the option to do so themselves.